Well, have you ever stopped to think about gluten in your diet? It's in some food items you may not have heard about. Gluten-free diets are recommended for various treatments, such as celiac disease or, in some cases, autism. And here to break it all down, Joel Detjen from Windmill Farms. Thanks for coming back, as I always. Enjoy it thoroughly. Yeah, so you have a bunch of things laid out on the table, but first of all, let's talk about what gluten is. Gluten is a protein molecule. Just think of it as glue. It's a gummy substance that has been used for centuries as a separate uh, food to make things real gummy. And to kind of stick things together. Yes, it holds it together. It didn't used to be a problem because it was a small part of the diet, but now it's become a major part of it. So more people than we know are having big time problems with digesting it. Now, can you talk about what, just to kind of do a little laundry list of some of the common things that you find gluten in? Wheat, barley, rye, oats, Spelt has a small amount, millet has a small amount. All grains have forms of gluten, but the thing we're worried about is this little substance in it called gliadin. Okay. And gliadin has, it, it just doesn't digest real well. In fact, that's the problem we're finding now is that some people can digest it completely like an incinerator, but a whole lot of us can only digest it partially. It sits in the gut like gum. And you can think of gum when we eat it, we spit it out. Well, if we swallow it, it takes a long time to get through our system, and it creates a a, a boatload of problems later on. So some people have different reactions to it than others, but it can, you know, can it help all of us if we all try to d reduce it a little bit? It wouldn't hurt to reduce it dramatically in most of us, and many of us just completely get rid of it because we're actually finding it's related to things like depression, anxiety, uh, different types of muscle problems, autism, as you mentioned. The biggest reason why is because it doesn't digest in the, di in the, in the body, and it sits there and binds onto nutrients. So as nutrients come in, it holds on, and they can't get back. 80% of our serotonin is, is produced in the gut. And if we don't have serotonin, we don't sleep, and we get depression, we get these really nasty problems with our brain. So if you have issues with that and you're just wondering, you, you don't know if this is going to take care of it, but it wouldn't hurt to try. wouldn't hurt to try. You can at least get rid of it and see what it does. You can have tests for it. There's actually these uh, gluten tests you can have done to see if you're celiac. And this is different from an allergy. Allergies, you can eat it and introduce it and go back and forth with it. But when you have a gluten intolerance, you're supposed to stay completely away from anything with gluten. And there's a lot of hidden factors. There's beer. There's food starch. Yeah, I was reading that it's in some alcohols. Yes, because they're, they're produced with wheat, many of them. Your wheat beers can be a problem. Now, I'm going to do a little bit more homework and find out how, how many beers actually have it, but it's kind of fascinating. Yeah, I was reading uh, whiskey, too. Was, Whiskey's was, a yeah. bad one, so it's made usually from rye. And so, you know, I have a one and a three-year-old, as, as most people know out there, but um, I get the wheat pasta, you know, whole grain pastas, things like that, because, you know, you can just put sauce on it and, and they like it. But you're actually saying this is actually a better idea to do something like yes, that. Yes, our little ones are swelling up huge. They're becoming adult size when they're kids, and they're, they've got obesity problems, cholesterol issues. A lot of it has to do with the fact that we're feeding them way too many starches. And the starches contain these glutens that they can't digest. They end up with all these mental problems, too, which hits very early in life. So the faster you can cut wheat way down and even eliminate it, the, the better off your children will be. And it's in everything. So talk about some of these products, everything. then, that we have here. Well, modern technology has done some wonderful things. We have rice and corn. Those are pretty much your two only basic substances that don't really affect people at all. Mm -hmm. It's very rare. They do have the glutens in them, don't get me wrong, but they're not the type that causes the problem. So, so these are a, like a rice flour? Or yes, a okay. corn flour and rice flour. Okay, and, and then this is... Uh, there's another hidden factor, soy, soy sauce. sauce. Look on the back, it'll say wheat. Stay oh, away from okay. it. Okay, so, so you can get the wheat-free soy sauce. Yes, we brought the tamara here, which was the wheat-free, the one you grabbed. The pasta This one we here has about. it. This one does not. And how about the breads? The breads, I uh, use uh, rice flour, preferably brown rice when possible, because most people can tolerate the brown rice. All the good nutrients are in there. And the, uh, the fiber that's in there actually binds on to a lot of the substances, Is that even the better wheat than that are sprouted bad. bread, then? I've, I've been trying sprouted bread. Sprouted's bread, wonderful, but it still can contain. Okay. Gluten, so you have to be careful when you eat it. If you don't have any problems with it, sprouted is the best way to go. It should be the only way we eat bread is sprouted. And then if you can't tolerate that, then you have to go to the alternatives, like this is the rice okay. right here with raisins. It's really good. It has almond butter on it. Okay. You can put peanut butter that. on it. Won't be put able some to do honey the next on story, it. But <laughs> do I have to read after this, Maria, because this is peanut butter. Your right lips here. are going to hold together mm -hmm. just a little bit, but it's wonderful stuff. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's found in the freezer section, but you can take it home and put it in the refrigerator. I'm right here. Okay. It's really good. Well, oh, thank you. Thank you. I knew I told you to be in trouble. I like to talk with your mouth open. You need some water. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank As you for always, we'll have home. more information linked to our website.